Hello and Namaskar to everyone. Uh, welcome to this lovely evening once again. My name is Ananya Biswas and I welcome you to another exciting episode for Sarbakal Music Society of Calgary's YouTube channel. It is my honor and privilege to be hosting a very renowned artist that we have present with us here today from India, Sri Sanjeev Bhattacharya. He is an exponent of Manipuri classical dance. However, that is only one of his many colors that we'll get to see today. Um, thank you very much to all Calgarians, to all our viewers worldwide for tuning in because this is going to be an exciting episode. As I have said earlier, we have a very special guest with us today, Sri Sanjeev Bhattacharya Ji. Thank you so much for being with us here, Dada. Um, I बहुत ही honored feel कर रही हूँ कि एक इतने renowned classical dancer हमारे साथ आज हैं और उनके साथ हमें आज बातचीत करने का मौका मिला है तो संजीव जी एक शुरू करते हैं आप थोड़ा सा अपने बारे में हमें बताइए और आप आपने जिनसे शिक्षा ली है आप इतने दूर आए हैं अपनी इस classical dance journey में उसके बारे में हमें थोड़ा बताइए सबसे पहले नमस्ते and I'm really feeling proud and honor to be here and I'm feeling I'm feeling like uh, uh, this is my home I just came here like uh, I'm always feeling so comfortable here and people and lovely students lovely uh, organizations just thanks then Chatahu Sri Anagadatta Society of Calgary and also the YouTube channel uh, Sarv Akal YouTube channel, um, Harujit Singh Ko and Shailesh Ji Ko and Lalita Ji Ko and all lovely adorable stuff, those who brought me here, that's uh, made me proud that uh, really Bhagavan ne kuch nishchit karke rakha tha jo idhar aake bhi kaam karna hai tumko. So, so I'm here. <laughs> Thank you so much Dada. Hmm. I think uh, the honor is all ours. Um, हमारे दर्शक का जरूर जानना चाहेंगे कि आपकी जर्नी कहाँ से शुरू हुई और हमारे आपके कौन-कौन से गुरु रहे हैं या अभी जो आपके गुरुजी हैं उनके बारे में थोड़ा बताइए। Yeah, so just I started uh, my it's not a journey, it's maybe my life. As the dance is my life line now. Yeah. So it's very very when I was in fifth standard uh, and uh, no, sorry, five years old, second standard. Mm. And uh, my, my first basic training uh, taught by my two elder sisters. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pratibha yeah. Devi and Pratima Devi. Mm. And then my formal training started from my first guru, uh, Mamta Shankarji. Mamta Shankarji is the daughter of Uday Shankar. So I learned uh, Uday Shankar dance techniques. Mm. Uh, that's why it's my very, very, it's I really, it's my lifetime achievement to wow. work and learn from them because they first time uh, taught me how to look at to the dance, how to be serious with this, how to make a discipline in your life uh, and what is the practice, what is the coordination, yes. what is the costume, what is the makeup, light, choreography, uh, stage coordination, backstage, front stage, everything. Wow. I, I think they taught me that and then after that I joined another uh, guru's uh, dance company, um, Dancers Guild, uh, Dr. Manjushri Chaki Sarkar. Okay. Also I traveled all over the world with them. And then I, I received a specialized training from my guru as a legend of uh, Manipuri dance, Guru Bipin Singh, Padmashri Darshana Zhaveri and Kalavati Devi. So then I took my specialized in specialization training from him and then he actually gave me the vision to go forward because before that I I didn't know that what to do just I was just learning and just practicing and just I didn't know just I, I, I do practice and perform whatever does they said but mm -hmm. Guruji actually has given me the vision mm -hmm. that how you have to take the step one after another wow. and then I think uh, I'm with his vision. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, th 
Thank you so much for sharing that with us, mm-hmm. Dada. And I think if it would be apt to say that because of your guru's guidance, you know, you've you've nurtured a lot in your dance form. You've grown to learn the techniques even better, uh, better your practice, and also perhaps uh, gain your expertise in choreography, because. Like you said, your journey started with dancing, but sometimes as dancers, we also hit a plateau. So we need a mentor or a guru to take us to that next level. Um, which brings me to my next question, Dada. From what you said to us right now, we could see that you have already learned under several other gurus. But right now in your latest collaborations, you know, you are working with gurus of Bharatnatyam dance and Odissi dance. And maybe other gurus of Manipuri dances. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Uh, for the collaboration part yes. we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you always considering me, uh, I'm a Vidarthi. So, and also um, in our Upanishad, there is a uh, Vidarthi Panchalakshanam is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, that um, Kakastanam Bakadhyanam Shwana Nidra Svalpahari Grihatagi. So when I checked myself, I have seen probably all attributes I have. So that's why I thought myself with that. And always I have a uh, that kind of mind to learn from others. Yes. To share uh, Guru's uh, Guruji's work, whatever I learned from them, to share with others, and all the same times to exchange the study, and mm-hmm. I can see what you have, what I can learn from you too. That is also always uh, in my mind. So whenever I'm getting any chance from anywhere, I'm just I took that. So mm-hmm. so my collaboration started from several areas Mm -hmm. like i i worked with the african dance company i worked with one liturgical dance company i worked with uh, one very renowned polish dance company Mm -hmm. every time i learned Mm -hmm. every time every day i learned and i rediscovered and then i said oh this is this should be there oh that also we can oh now i can add this oh this is can be done so In that way, I learned always from the national and international artists. And also, I'm very privileged to work with all international uh, choreographers. At the mm-hmm. same time, all uh, icons of India, like yes. Padma Bhushan, Sonal Man Singh, Padma Shri, Darshana Zaveri, Padma Shri, Ranjana Gohar, and many more, and Parvati Datta. So, so when I'm working with them, mm-hmm. like, like, they are taken me as an artist mm-hmm. to work with them. Mm-hmm. I always observe, observe very carefully, right. very, very carefully what they are doing, what is their process. How, and as I noted down, mm-hmm. and I always try to apply with my next project. Always, I always trying to <coughs> observe and then, and immediately I trying to apply and then if it works with me or not. In that yes. way, um. I'm learning. I'm in the learning process. That's very beautiful, yeah. Dada. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very beautiful point brought out by Dada here that we are students of life as classical dancers, as artists, as regular people. You know, we are always learning. We have a lot of things that we have experienced. We have a lot of experience. बड़े बड़े दिग्गज जो हमारे इंडिया में भी जो है जैसे उन्होंने बोला पद्मश्री रंजना गोहर जी है ओडिसी डांस की प्लस उन्होंने इंटरनेशनल कोरियोग्राफर्स के साथ भी कोलैबोरेट किया है तो उनके इतने बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट के साथ काम करने के बाद एंड ये खुद एक बहुत जाने माने आर्टिस्ट हैं इसके बाद भी एक वैल्यू रखना कि ही स्टिल लर्निंग is incredible. So thank you very much for that. And I think as uh, our audiences will will take a valuable lesson from that. Uh, moving on. Aap, in your opinion, Dada, what is the advantage of, you know, learning from these workshops that are not your dance form? So because I know there's a comfort zone. So what do you think you get? So for example, I'm an Odissi dancer and I was thrilled 
to be learning under your guidance, although you are Manipuri dancing, uh, you're a Manipuri dancer. So from in your experience or what are your suggestions for people who want to kind of cross stream? Uh, so you're talking about what is your um, learning experience from me or what is learning experience from you? What, what I, I didn't get it. Can you so um, you, I would like for you to tell maybe our current students and current teachers the advantages of doing cross workshops like these. Okay, yeah, I, I think this is um, very important for all the students at mm -hmm. the same time for me also that mm -hmm. I, I told you that I always learning because it's, it's always as a, uh, it's a creative synthesis. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm working with another styles, maybe I don't know you, but um, I have done uh, my basic training from other gurus with Odyssey and Bharatnatyam also, Kathak also. So, uh, so I have that basic foundation. Mm -hmm. So when I, I see other dancers, I can connect. Yes. I, I can know, okay, this movement can be incorporated with my movement. So mm -hmm. in the same times, I can see how we can connect together. It's like a languages. It's like yes. a friendship together. No? Yes. It's kind of friendship. So that kind of advantage, I think we should take both ways. Absolutely. And I think it's brought me several times, like um, an example, like in mm -hmm. 2012, I, um, I invited by the um, International Artist Residency Program, uh, Cleveland Foundation. That time we had a specific set time, like mm -hmm. artist has three hours every day. And then I told the director, can you make me more busy here? Mm -hmm. Then he said, why? He said, I, I want to connect. I want yeah. to connect more people because it's a, it's a three, three months I'm here and, and I don't want to do just, you, you just give him a structure that you do this, you have this amount of time and other, otherwise you have the rest time and you can go here and there. Then I said, yes, definitely I'm go, but I want to connect more people here. That's I want wonderful. to share my uh, knowledge, more people, and I can also see more uh, more dancers here. Yeah, absolutely. In that way, I connected so many people. Yeah. So many people. And also, it's happened that it's a cultural connections. Absolutely. And in that way, I, I found both ways benefited. Mm -hmm. And when I connected with, because maybe somebody is searching for something yes. and I just, I come to with them. Yes. So they, oh, I was searching. And sometimes maybe I am searching something and it comes to me. Yes. So in that way, I think both ways it's is, is very, yeah. very beneficial for both. So I, and I also benefited and that I, I got many connections mm -hmm. and they, I got many invitations after mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. So. And you never know where uh, where is our destiny. So yeah. I think we should try. Yeah. So I'm always trying to connect as much as possible That's wonderful. in my life. Yeah. So that that is, I think, beneficial part from yeah. both of uh, side. I think that's that's a very beautiful message that you're giving our audiences, Dada. That uh, obviously networking because. You know, learning a single dance form, you can be restricted to your network. So as an ODC dancer or a Bharatanatyam dancer or a Manipuri dancer, yes, you know your own circle, but then you're missing out on this whole ocean or world of dancers that are out there, world of organizations that are out there. So networking is one, but I think what really stands out is your what you told us is making connections, connecting with people. At the end of the day, dance is a universal language. Hai. It is not only just an expression of art, but it's a more spiritual connection. And dance ki wajay se hi, hum aur bhi humare jitne fellow um, citizens hai, log hai, artists hai, unse hum connect kar paate hai. To network to hala ki uska ek bonus hai, ki network humara badhta hai. But I think dada, jaysay aapne kaha, har kisi se kuch seekhne ko milta hai. So that is very beautifully said. Thank and, you. And also that I, I feel that it's a, service and men connecting to the God actually. Yes. So it's actually when you are connecting people, it's sometimes conditional, sometimes unconditional, sometimes purposely, sometimes there is no purpose. Uh, I think because you are you rightly say that is dance is the 
medium of worship. So, yes. so we are always connecting through dance to connect to the God. To the God. So Absolutely. ultimately, actually, God has directing us. Okay, you should connect with this, and then you can. You connect. get your life's purpose at the end yeah. of the day. So Absolutely. I Absolutely. feel in that way. Yeah. Perfect. So moving on, um, you know, there are a lot of and I'm sure our audiences will connect with this. Dada. There are a lot of teachers and parents, um, especially when they're not very well informed. They feel that their child, if especially when they're in their learning early stages, if they attend other workshops or if they go outside of their traditional box, it's not necessarily beneficial. That is, I would assume that as a myth. What would you like to say to them about that, Dada? Do you think it is a myth? Do you think the kids can actually benefit? Do you think maybe, maybe not? Maybe kids should stay for the foundation? It actually depends. I think it's about the background mm -hmm. of the family, mm -hmm. that how, how they well, well connected with the cultural fields, what, what actually, because some... Uh, parents maybe they don't know what happening outside because I have seen many uh, parents they they I asked why you are just giving your daughter to me then she say that okay do you know that I wanted to dance uh, but I didn't get chance so I just am I'm giving my daughter oh, okay. to dance so okay and I, I told her do you know that uh, your daughter is do you know that the daughter has that uh, quality that mm -hmm. that's that she can do but maybe she she can do other subject yeah no i just am my i was my it was my dream i would be a oh. dancer but i didn't so yeah so that kind of uh ignorance yes i think and also the education yes so i think that kind of art education uh still lacking in our many all i think it's everywhere yeah. especially i always feeling in our art form so are you always trying to so that is one point and yeah. another point is i think always it's good to learn other style mm -hmm. it's it's a like a comparative study like Absolutely. if you speak in english very well and then if you can speak very well in kannada or Panj punjabi or any other style that is your skill yes so why don't you uh, stick with your language only why yeah. don't you try that you didn't know that you don't rediscover that Absolutely. you have that that quality and maybe the skill that you can speak spanish very well you yeah. can be um, speak very uh, uh, any any polish very well whatever yeah. so in that way i think uh, that it's very beneficial it's, it's always supporting and always yeah. uh, you know um, it's very essential values. Like if you learned Odyssey and Manipuri in the yes. same times. Yes. So first of all, you are giving more energy and time yes, for the dance. Yes, exactly. You're practicing. Yes. Anyway, you are practicing. And you can also get the both techniques together. And both techniques actually, you know, helping each other each, each form, yes. for the realization for the understanding of the rhythm yes the understanding of the techniques and nuances it helps yeah so i always suggesting that to learn more style and rediscover yourself which style on which techniques you are comfortable yes. your body mind soul is comfortably receiving you and yes. you and you make me, you feel that you are happy and you also spreading your happiness to yes. the audience. Then you can, oh, this is, this is my subject. Absolutely. Like a language, when you speak language, you know that which language you are more comfortable, comfortable to with. express. Absolutely. I think the same thing, like yeah. any language, any music, dance, any art form yeah. has that strength and uh, power. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's incredible, dear audiences. This is a very important message diya hai aaj, Dada ne. Um, to go back to your story, you know, it's very relatable to me because I have a big sister. So, my mother had a lot of shock in Odyssey. So, my mother had a lot of sister in Odyssey. But my mother had a lot of shock in Odyssey. So, in one or two years, she had a lot of training. And 
सबसे आई थिंक नुकसान जो हुआ इज माई सिस्टर स्टार्टेड टू डिसलाइक द डांस फॉर्म तो नाउ एट यू नो प्लस थर्टी फाइव शी इज टेक इन भारत नाट्यम एंड शी इज एक्चुअली डूइंग बेटर देन आई डिड या सो इट्स वेरी डिपेंडेबल एंड जब मैंने अपनी मम्मा को बोला कि मुझे ओडिसी सीखना है उन्होंने पहले मुझे तीन साल टेस्ट किया कि ये सीरियस है कि नहीं है तो बिल्कुल सही कहा आपने दादा एंड डियर पेरेंट्स आई थिंक बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि अपनी इच्छाओं को बच्चों के थ्रू या बच्चों के ऊपर थोपने के बजाय उनसे पूछिए कि उन्हें क्या पसंद है वो उनमें क्या वो सक्सेसफुल हो सकते हैं एंड आई थिंक आर्ट इज सो फ्लूड एंड सो पैशनेट दैट इफ द चाइल्ड और द स्टूडेंट ऑफ दैट आर्ट फॉर्म इज नॉट डेडिकेटेड दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सेल यू नो दे आर नॉट दीज आर नॉट कमर्शियल सब्जेक्ट कि आप माप सकते हैं आर्ट इज वेरी पैशनेट डांस म्यूजिक वो जैसे आपने कहा एक भगवान के लिए एक आराधना है तो अगर उसमें आपका मन नहीं है तो आप उसको एंजॉय नहीं कर सकते आप उसमें एक्सेल नहीं कर सकते और आगे लर्निंग की इच्छा भी उसमें नहीं exactly, होगी सो समथिंग टू थिंक अबाउट दादा लेट्स मूव ऑन टू दिस वंडरफुल वर्कशॉप दैट यू आर डूइंग फॉर अस अ बिग थैंक्स टू श्री अनागा दत्ता सोसाइटी ऑफ कैलगरी फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दैट फॉर ब्रिंगिंग यू टू अस अस होपफुल स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑलवेज होपिंग फॉर यू नो बिग गुरुज टू कम एंड टीच अस डिफरेंट आर्ट फॉर्म्स तो थोड़ा उसके बारे में हमें बताइए कि वॉट इज योर आइडिया फॉर द वर्कशॉप वॉट आर वी प्रेजेंटिंग वॉट आर योर थॉट्स अबाउट सोफा yeah that's i i told you before that i always am trying to connect more people yes. uh like i have seen many dancers uh dance teachers and performer when uh, when they invite invited from any organization they are going and then they telling that oh i i need this 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 i want yeah. this hotel i want this hotel and they just performing and that coming back home yeah. and then are eating indian food only and then come back yeah <laughs> so i observed many times then i said oh i don't like it yeah so i'm going there and just, i just i didn't i don't know that people are really receiving me well or yes. if, if people has any questions i should talk with them so wow. i always like that so i always trying to give offer mm-hmm. uh, that because this offer came from myself actually yeah. that i told that I always giving offer that when I'm, whenever I'm performing, so maybe three days, four days, uh, workshops to yeah. to teach and share, and then they can appreciate more when they can see me in the performance yes. after that. Yes, because sure. before the program, I'm meeting all those who are dancers here, the dance yeah. students here, and I'm working as a teacher, working as a dancer, mm-hmm. working. Um, talking as a brothers mm-hmm. sisters and like this so so we are now in family then now when they know me the yes. how i am just working uh, what personality i have and how i am working um with everyone as a dancer as a teacher as a performer as a choreographer and then when they will watch me as a performer then yes. i think they they will appreciate more, more absolutely. then i can reach with them more they can appreciate me more that is my main motto and at the same times i wanted to share some knowledge the same thing that to to know how the teachers they are working here so now yeah. i know that oh they ये है यहाँ पे इतना टीचर्स है दे हैव द स्टूडेंट्स दे वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम हियर कल्चरल प्रॉब्लम हियर वॉट हाउ यू विल सॉल्विंग हेयर हाउ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे वर्किंग हेयर सो आई एम आई एम आई एम नोइंग मच बेटर अबाउट कलगरी विद इन थ्री डेज एंड आउट मीटिंग मेनी गुरुज टीचर्स हेयर एंड हरजीत सिंह एंड मेनी मोर यस्टरडे आई मेट सुधा जी सो आई एम फीलिंग दैट ओ इट्स this uh, visit is very meaningful for me Absolutely. that what i'm doing i'm sharing my knowledge to the world so i'm sharing my experience with everyone and yeah. and connecting people so and we would consider it our very very good fortune that we're getting to learn from you dada i think uh, as much as you love connecting i think as students of dance we love to have you know learned personalities like yourself it's and for me i think it's more than just the dance it's a, it's also these conversations it's about how what your thought process is what is your look on life how as students of art we should um 
imbibe in our personality, you know, the thought process, the devotion, the, the way we connect with people and how we look at art as a whole. So more than dance, we are learning a lot of life lessons as well with you, Dada. So we appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So what kind of commitment uh, would you think a student or a parent, because at the end of the day, it's not just a student learning the dance form, it's the entire family that's dedicated to make sure that this child uh, is able to commit and learn. So in your opinion, what do you think is needed from the student and their family to learn such classical dance forms, be it Manipuri, be it ballet, be it Odyssey, be it you know any sort of classical music? What would you recommend, Dada? Yeah, actually, uh, I told you that uh, I think every, for, for life, it's a discipline is the most important. Absolutely. If you don't have any discipline, so then I don't think that you can go forward. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that does discipline, and this depends um, up to the parents also, because some students, maybe they are really want to. I have, I have seen many students, they are so much interested to come mm -hmm. in the class. Maybe the parents are thinking, why? Yeah. You don't have to go over there. Kya karoge dance sikhe, music sikhe, koi fayda nahi hoga, to ye hai. So, if the students are so positive to join, to show their devotion, and at the same time, there's the obstacle. Yeah. Uh, comes from the parents yes. and they are dependent on parents so, so I cannot blame them yeah. you know? at the same times also I always begging <laughs> I'm always begging everyone's the mainly the time commitment mm -hmm. and serious dance dance is a very serious subject you yes. can if you can take it seriously. Yes. I think in any subject, if you can take seriously, definitely we can achieve. So yes. like, um, still I'm thinking that whatever I'm wearing, uh, the clothes and whatever I have today, mm -hmm. everything comes from my dance. This yeah. is my life, everything, whatever. Yeah. So I think we, we could achieve whatever we really like. And if you have that discipline, yes. that dedication, that and devotion. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, there's something very important that Dada just mentioned. Um, teachers and parents, Hamare Darshak, Jaise ki Shri Sanji Bhattacharya ji ne kaha, devotion, dedication or discipline. Ye teen aapke pillars hain agar aap kisi art form ko shraddha se, pure man se, puri mehnat se practice karenge, to fal to देने वाला ऊपर वाला ही है जैसे संजीव जी ने कहा डांस उनकी अब लाइफ है तो काफी हमारे कम्युनिटी में इनफैक्ट हमारे कम्युनिटी के बाहर भी हैं बच्चे हैं ओल्डर जेनरेशन के लोग हैं टीनेजर्स हैं यूथ हैं आई काउंट माय सेल्फ इन इट एज वेल हमें थोड़ा सा और सीरियस होना है अगर हमें डांस को आगे लेके जाना है ये कितनी पुरानी सालों की हमारी ट्रेडिशन है राइट right? So, जैसे संजीव जी एक इतने मतलब गुरुजी हैं ही इज ही सो ओपन टू कोलैबोरेटिंग वो दुनिया भर में घूम रहे हैं वो दुनिया भर में दूसरे आर्टिस्ट के साथ कोलैबोरेट कर रहे हैं और इस आर्ट फॉर्म को दुनिया के कोने-कोने में लेके जा रहे हैं तो इवन एज आर्टिस्ट जो यहां पे है मैं उनसे डेफिनेटली गुजारिश करूंगी कि आप थोड़ी और मेहनत करिए थोड़ा और कनेक्ट करिए नेटवर्क करिए जिससे you know, that art form is not only for you. If you can take it to others, then I think that our life purpose will be filled with our life purpose. If you can give it to another person, then you can give it to another person. So I think that is very, very special in our lifetime. And, um, you know, we feel very special to have this gift from you, Dada. I think to, this week is a very lucky week for all of us. <laughs> um, moving on, I think... Um, this is a very important question especially in our Indian tradition because this is what we are doing with the years which we call the Guru Shishya Parampara in that form today in that form which we have 
पहले प्रैक्टिस किया जाता था जो डेडिकेशन से उसे प्रैक्टिस किया जाता था वो आजकल हमें दिखाई नहीं देती सो so, दादा आपके इसके बारे में क्या थॉट्स हैं That is very very uh, tough question actually because we are <laughs> we every teachers every dancer they're facing this problem because yeah. when uh, actually we started uh, dance training mm -hmm. so it was so guru lok always uh, asking us for the maximum time and we have we can but now it is time is the yes, big absolutely. factor and you cannot tell that give me twenty four hours yes. and then. what i give you i don't know then people will no uh, yeah. not interested to you because um, this art and culture is so so divine than that uh, you cannot calculate with the money yeah. you can you cannot calculate with anything it's just like a if you feel like uh, that this is a blessings yes and you should just Uh, start your prayer your meditation to the god and don't ask anything to give it to you yeah then you will get whatever you uh, god has decided for you so this kind of level it's very difficult to explain yes mm. so that's why uh people nowadays people are very much uh, calculative so if i am just spending this money so what i'm getting if yes. i spending this money what i can get so in that way if you just going with the commercial purpose it has many ways to go yes. out yes. but if it turns to a classical uh, guru parampara that is completely different Devotion, it is yeah. a devotional sacrifice yes you have to Very actually well. wow. you have to actually sacrifice yes it's not like that oh i am learning this uh, art from art form because i'm going for the foreign tour yes acha foreign tour jaane ke liye chance milega kya then uh, then we can dance yeah we never thought yeah. right we never as we when we learned dance and we given hours and hours and hours and yes. we didn't think that what will get benefit we yes. didn't thought that yeah so that kind of uh, thought process imbibed to the new generations it is very difficult now it is it's actually it's about the realization and it's uh, all about the uh, family background mm -hmm. and those who have that kind of cultural value yeah. they can under understood because absolutely it's like a like a test Mm -hmm. So there is a many restaurant, no? Wow. Yeah. Okay. You can go here. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. But there is a prasad in the temple also. Yes. So you don't know that taste. Yes. So those who sacrifice all others uh, things and going for the real genuine gem. Mm -hmm. so they have to sacrifice yes so it's not easy that just i can learn very quickly and i can deliver that i told in a workshop also the when we practice and practice and practice always we uh, we went very deep, deep into the uh, subject mm -hmm. but now it is i can see that they are uh, the new generation they are very brilliant mm -hmm. they can pick up uh, movement or music very quickly and they can remember and they can deliver but they they is there is a very very much i can see that the lack of uh, depth yes they don't know exactly but i mean oh they're so talented if they know a little bit more if if they go a little bit deeper into yes that is the sacrifice absolutely so that is the is. main thing that if you have because i i sacrifice i thought i sacrificed many thing yeah. like for the my social and like my family so many my bhanja ka shaadi my didi ka ye beta ka na prashan hua bahut bahut kuch cheez so ji. but i i can see oh i have a program i have committed with something yes. Yes. it's not about the money it's not about the commercial value it's not about how much money i'm earning it's about 
how much sacrifice i can do yes. how much unconditionally service i can give it to the society for the as a for the cultural um, mm -hmm. upliftment absolutely that is more important that that kind of value i think is very rare mm -hmm. so those who have this kind of i when i'm traveling i can feel some somewhere it's there somewhere not there Gee. so i can feel, oh it's everywhere sometimes in india also we cannot get very good environment Gee. cultural family i didn't get them sometimes Gee. in abroad i didn't expect but i can say oh my god so wonderful yes. so so it's about the taste about no? the taste yes. about the taste about the value about the uh when awareness, awareness and sure. um, this kind of i i think in at my way yeah how beautifully said um एक जो बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट बात हमारे साथ आज संजीव जी ने शेयर करी गुरु शिष्य परंपरा के बारे में वो है सैक्रिफाइस हमारे पुराणों में महाभारत में भी जो कथा है जिसमें शिष्य ने अपने अंगूठे का दान देकर यू नो गुरु की गुरु से प्रार्थना की कि आप मुझे अपना शिष्य बनाइए ऐसा ही हमारे कल्चर में चला आ रहा है जैसे संजीव जी ने कहा उन्होंने कितने लाइफ के इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स मिस किए not because of the commercial value of the dance but because he committed he gave his life to that dance form and he wanted to be true to it so as young and upcoming dancers when we're training we have to be very very cognizant of the fact ki agar kisi art mein hame excel karna hai we cannot be jack of all trades there has to be sacrifices in order to excel in something and i think we see that in dance क्लासिकल डांस फॉर्म्स क्लासिकल आर्ट फॉर्म्स से म्यूजिक बड़े सालों की प्रैक्टिस काफी सालों की मेहनत के बाद एक एक यू नो आर्टिस्ट आता है हु इज एबल टू एनचैंट द ऑडियंसेस हु इज एबल टू कैप्चर द ऑडियंसेस बिकॉज इट्स प्योर टैलेंट एंड प्योर हार्ड वर्क दैट शोज काफी जैसे आपने कहा कि डांसर्स यू नो मे बी जैसे यंगस्टर्स हैं दे आर ब्लेस्ड विथ अ लॉट ऑफ टैलेंट बट बिकॉज उनकी प्रैक्टिस इतनी डीप नहीं गई है उन्होंने इतना कनेक्ट नहीं किया है दे आर स्टिल ओनली ऑन द सर्फेस दे हैव अ लॉन्गर जर्नी टू गो डीपर सो डियर ऑडियंस इज सम वेरी वेरी वंडरफुल मैसेजेस वर गेटिंग टू नाइट थैंक्स टू संजीव जी एंड दिस इज वॉट आई वॉट वी लव अबाउट मीटिंग आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज इट्स मोर देन जस्ट द आर्ट फॉर्म ये हम कला के अतिरिक्त भी हम ये सीख रहे हैं कि लाइफ के वैल्यूज क्या है लाइफ में प्रिंसिपल्स क्या होने चाहिए आर्टिस्ट के क्या ब्यूटीफुल थॉट प्रोसेस है इन सब से हमें सीखने को मिलता है संजीव जी नाउ इट्स टाइम टू एक्चुअली गिव्स सम मोमेंट्स फॉर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट यू प्ले एज वेल इट इज कॉल द पुक P U N G पुंग पुंग इट्स कॉल्ड द पुंग ये uh, एक ढोल <coughs> की भांति है और uh, ये प्रिडोमिनेंटली मणिपुरी डांस में यूज किया जाता है और uh, हम आज संजीव जी का ये एक छोटा सा डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन देखेंगे और साथ में हम इन्हें रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे कि अपने डांस मूव्स और वर्कशॉप में आज uh, हम डांस और वर्कशॉप uh, से भी हमें कुछ uh, स्टेप्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेट uh, करें हमारे ऑडियंसेस के लिए जरूर uh, मैं पुंग के बारे में बचाना बताना चाहता हूँ दैट इट्स वेरी ऑस्पिशियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई थिंक एवरी डांस फॉर्म्स दे हैव देयर ओन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड दे हैव देयर ओन सिलेबल्स एंड साउंड एंड द शेप सो और मणिपुरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑल्सो इन द पुंग एंड इट्स सेंग दैट uh there is a two side so one side is the radha mm -hmm. another side is the krishna so it's a it's a radha krishna's milan, milan yes and also it's uh, described like a like a right side there is a black uh, portion and two black so it's uh, like a krishna's eyes mm -hmm. so that's why it's so it's so auspicious wow. and and uh, it's a and all ceremonies uh, so they are not only playing their uh, our sankirtan player there, there is a sankirtan one section in mm -hmm. manipur where all kind of ceremony uh, they are 
playing this drum pung with dance mm -hmm. and uh, it has specific compositions for the uh, marriage for the death ceremony for the wow. carnival ceremony okay. every day they, are, uh, they have this, that living tradition so that is also very very interesting to, absolutely yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. something again something for us to learn because traditionally hum kisi dhol uh, ko dekhte hain ya aise instrument ko dekhte hain we see it as a pure percussion instrument but ladies and gentlemen today we got to know that there are other percussion instruments like sanjeev ji is going to demonstrate for us the pung it has got a much deeper meaning a much more devotional meaning to it so we are very excited uh, to see you play that for us sanjeev ji thank you very much thank you. Namaskar. This is my pleasure and privilege to presenting my Guruji's composition, Guru Bipin Singh's composition, Smritang Vadan, with uh, based on uh, Dashkosh Tal and Tanchap Tal. The Dashkosh is uh, explaining like uh, seven bits, like one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, and the bowl, the syllables is like, gang, gin, gin, ta, gin, gang, gin, gin, ta, gin, gin, ta, gang, gin, gin, ta, gin, gang, gin, gin, ta, gin, gin, ta. So, just I'm first time playing dash kosh, and then I will be playing tanchap together. Radhe Krishna Govinda, Krishna Krishna Govinda. Tanchap 
ताल चार मात्रा वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू लाइक कहर बा धागे तेटे धागे देना लाइक वी हैव ऑल्सो धेन तेन ता धे घेना धे ता धे घेना धे घेना धे तेन ता ता धे घेना धे वन टू थ्री ता की ता की ता की ता धेन I'm going to demonstrate uh, Manipuri dance, the basic elements, uh, which is uh, rediscovered by Guru Bipin Singh. And Manipuri dance is basically it's a uh, it's coming from the Raslila and the group dance. But to Guru Bipin Singh's uh, actually she researched and with the Zaveri sisters and bring the today's art form from the temple to the theater and as a solo dance so guruji's was the speciality how manipuri dance also be in the solo so so he he discovered and he just gave it to us as a gift like how to go about through the technicalities of manipuri dance so we have a four basic elements rasantika chari sampluta chari upavishta chari and brahmari is all the chari ved chari ved means just the chalan with a one fit how we are moving with one one movement to another so and also i wanted to uh, uh, express you that manipuri dance has a very speciality it has two uh, very distinguished uh, division uh, lasya and tandava aspects so lasya is all the soft gentle feminine control movement and then the other hand tandava is the all male and uh, vigorous movement i think uh, if i go to the comparative study with the other dance styles it has the same uh, i can see that any other uh, bharatanatyam odissi mohiniyattam they both are doing the same style together any male dancer or any female dancer they can do the both but i think manipuri dance has that uh, speciality that we have very very distinguished division like all lasya aspects is there for gopis radha's dance and all tandava aspects is in the krishna balram and others so that is the main speciality and i i wanted to show you and also that technically uh, the spine i think spine is so important like in uh, bharatanatyam they are moving with the spine very geometric very geometric with with their hand movements and everything is very geometric but in manipuri we have all circular circular and all angle and also odissi has also the fluidity so we can found some similarities with uh, odissi and mohiniyattam it's there but still our torso movement is little different like in our manipuri we have the eight like 1 2 3 4 then then ta dhai gena dhai then then ta dhai gena dhai so i wanted to show you some very basic um, lassi aspects of lassi and tandava aspects of chari ved first i want to show you rasantika chari with 
Lassia movement. Then then ta dei gina dei then then ta dei gina dei then then ta dei gina dei then kita ta a then then ta dei gina dei then then ta dei gina dei then then ta dei gina dei then kita ta a then then ta dei gina dei then then ta dei gina dei then ta dei gina dei then kita ta and i also explain one very uh, specific movement and uh, just it's very unique i think i didn't find this kind of movement in anywhere it's like a <clears throat> the imagination of the movement is like you are holding a thread and you are separating cotton from the thread so this is actually very uh, unique uh, step on the last from the last year part and it's called lassing kappi so you can imagine that it's how control and how much uh, beauty and grace it's there and you have really really have to be very very controlled sometimes um, uh, audience and so many people thought that manipuri dance is very simple very easy because it looks like very easy like uh, in the last year aspects also if you if you see if you learn it it has so much of strength like i can show that uh, it's describing the lasya aspects the strength is uh, its inner strength is like a touch me not plant like if you touch the touch me not plant it's immediately it's, it's slowly 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 it's close so i can show you one movement it's uh, so you can see how much control you need for the lasya movement also ta ginta ta 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 ginta ta ginta ta 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 ginta ta ginta ta 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 ginta ta ginta ta 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 gr gr ginta so it looks like a very easy but you have to move with your muscle and control every time so it's not like just you are you are standing and you're sitting down so from standing to sitting so you have to be controlled with your all muscle so that is a last year part and i also i want to demonstrate that move because i like this movement very much uh, the lasing kappi uh, it's uh, separating cotton from the thread kita dei ta dei gina dei kita dei ta dei gina dei kita dei ta dei gina dei then kita ta now i'm going to <coughs> sampluta chari sampluta is means utplavan jump so this jump section is coming to the tandava aspects because uh, in manipuri dance uh, in in the female dance in the last year aspects is all about the touching the ground all the bhumi sparsha so there is no jumping in the um, last year aspects so this is the tandava aspects i want to show you two three movements dhan danta danta dhantra kitanta then tata dhan danta danta dhantrakhita then tata dhan ta dhanta dhantrakhita then ta ginta ta kita then ta ta kita kit then ta 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 kita ta gina ta kita ginta ta kita then ta ta kita kit then ta 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 kita gina ta kita dhan danta 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 ginta 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 so this kind of very variation we have and then <coughs> we have a upavishta chari the upavishta chari is all sitting movement dhan danta danta dhantrak tita 
ta ta dan ta dan ta dan chuk te ta te ta ta dan dan ta dan ta dan ta 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 dan dan ta ten ta and then the last part uh brahmari so brahmari is very very essential i think in kathak dance they have odissi they have mohini mohini attempt they have all classical forms but we have two distinguished different in a lasya and a tandav so i want to show you first uh, lasya brahmari tatthi ginta dhai tatthi ginta dhai ginta dhai tatthi dhai tatthi dhai dhai tatthi dhai tatthi dhai tatthi dhai tatthi dhai tatthi ginta dhai ginta dhai and the tanda brahmari we have many <coughs> tatthi dai tatthi dai dai tatthi dai tatthi dai dai tatthi one and then also we have a circle So to viewers that was an incredible demonstration for us from the very renowned Manipuri dance exponent Sri Sanjeev Bhattacharya ji who's uh, who's graced us with his presence here in Calgary thank you very much for that dada um we we look forward to your continued support dear audiences please keep watching um Sarbakal's YouTube channel for more uh, informative and uh, surprising videos on all classical uh, art forms Ada, thank you so much once again for being with us tonight. And thank you, Ananna, for the wonderful voice thank and you. wonderful energy. Thank you. And thank you very much uh, for Sri Anagatatta Society of Calgary and uh, Sarbakal YouTube channel, uh, Harjit Singh ji, Shailesh ji, Lalitha ji, and all of my lovely, adorable team. Thank you so much.